What's going on guys? Ronnie here with the Local Losers. We are working on my R34 Skyline. Um, it's a pretty cool car. If you haven't watched the video of us picking it up, go watch that. Um, I don't know if there's any like decent information in there, but you'll learn some things about the car. Here it is. I just got done washing it. Um, got it up on the lift. I haven't picked it up, so we're gonna see the underside together for the first time. Um, what we're working on is how to mount the side skirts where they can come on and off easily. That's step one. Also, we're gonna rip off these wheels and we're gonna see if we can put some, uh, some big dogs on here. So let's get started. This is also gonna be like rundown video of what's done to the car, so. All right, the gimbal is a little bit dead, so we're gonna let it charge. You can see my Volk over there. We are going to try and fit those up real quick, see how they fit. Um, this car has GTR front fenders, so they're pretty wide. Um, back is stock body. Those are 18 by 10 and a half, plus 18, I think. So they're pretty aggressive, but uh, we're gonna put them on. Fingers crossed, they fit and the car will look great. I tried to do this when we picked it up in Houston, but this stupid car, for some reason, has freaking Allens for lug nuts. So we gotta deal with that. Let's get it off. Oh, this has spacers. Yes, does it have them in the rear? It does. Oh my gosh, these wheels are gonna fit, dudes. Oh my gosh, these wheels are going to fit and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Those wheels wouldn't clear the brakes because this is a, uh, it's a turbo car factory. So it's got the Z32 style brakes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's got adapters. It's got one inch adapters. Let's see how the Volks fit with the adapters. I have a feeling it's gonna be like doo-doo. Oh, dude, it, they might not be wide enough. Are you kidding me? Okay, so the studs don't allow my wheels to go on all the way. These are gonna fucking fit and they're gonna be so gas, dude. Oh my load, oh my load. This is amazing. I'm so excited that these wheels are gonna fit on here. Um, these lug nuts are weird. Oh, we gotta find a freaking socket that's gonna fit. I have no clue, these are big. Okay, smaller than that. How the fuck do you get these off? Hmm. The lug nuts seem like super big. Yeah. Huh. They can't be a 22. What? Okay, so we're gonna time out <laughs> because I gotta figure out how to get these wheel spacers off and I'm gonna show you guys the craziness. All right, so here's the spacer. It's a one inch spacer. This is a lug nut. Look how tight in there it is. I sanded down this socket. I still need to sand it down some more. You can see the rub spots. So I'm gonna sand this down some more, pull the rear one off, and then you guys can see the front looks sick. All right, guys, fair warning. The car looks saucy. Um, the tires aren't quite the perfect size, but they look amazing. 
It looks so good. Fitment, like lowering the car could be a little better, but we're not gonna do that. We have a different set of wheels that are gonna go on this car. So we're gonna work on like dialing those in. I think these with a one inch spacer would be mint, which we happen to have a one inch spacer. We just have to cut down the heads of our studs a little. So yeah, we got a little bit of a decision to make. I wish the car could go lower, but I don't really want to go any lower with this body kit on here. The car sits low and I think it looks really good. If you look down here, it, it looks good. You just be lower. So 19s it is for sure. And then we're just gonna have to get the spec perfect. Um, which I don't think will be that hard because these are super close. The rear's probably exactly right, you know, just a little bit more. And then the front, same thing, an inch, probably an inch front and back wider than these. And they'll be dialed. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, Bo's a lot better than me at that. Um, but yeah, we gotta do this side. Get the other wheels on we got to go get lug nuts and then we can put side skirts on i can't believe these wheels fit so good so all right let me uh continue my journey i'm excited it looks so good all right the car is up in the air and i will fit underneath it so i'm gonna turn on my flashlight and we're gonna take a peek. So, a little bit of rust there. This subframe looks really good. They painted the whole underside of this car. Um, a lot of people say it's to like hide rust, but this all looks great. Like there's a little corrosion there I can feel but it looks good. All up in here looks good. Right here is like a known rust spot. I don't know if you guys can see up in there. Right here. And it looks really good. Um, that happened, which does suck. But overall, I think we bought a good car. Car looks like super clean. I don't know what's done to it. There's a turbo right there. I don't know how to tell like it's stock or aftermarket or what. It says Garrett. So probably a stock charger. There's the other one. Turbo. Yeah, all this stuff looks really good. Except for the front bumper. Look at this. It was kind of beat up a time or two. It's got like some rivets underneath it and stuff. But dang, man. This is exciting. This car's clean. Shoot. I feel like this is the car that just keeps giving. All right, guys. I got the Volks on right now. The Basreas are going to fit perfect, but we got to buy lips for the rear. Um, we're going to have to do some math. If you guys want a video on, like, how to measure wheels, um, we can totally do that. I'll get Bo over here. He uh, knows a lot more about measuring wheels than I do. And we can do a whole video on, like, how to measure your wheels. Anyways. Got the side skirts back on. I used rib nuts to hold them in the side. I'm gonna show you guys something which I didn't even think about. Um, anyways, check it out. I'm ready to go driving, dude. Oh my God, I can't believe I own that car. Um, <clears throat> so this car has GTR front fenders. You can tell they have this giant lip versus like they would be straight. 
So these side skirts don't fit good. If you were to just screw them in here, they would have this giant gap. So they had a screw underneath here that we couldn't see. And what I did is I put a rib nut in there and these thread in. And this is like super solid. It's not going anywhere. So now I want to take this hood off, but I can't do it by myself. We'll see if we can convince Carissa to come help us. But uh, I want to show you guys what's underneath it. Cause it's pretty stinking cool. Which wrong direction? Like that. Um, this car is. I don't know if these like Subarus have an extra thing where you can like pin this way up. Apparently Nissans don't, which sucks. Anyways, um, yeah. This car has an RB26 in it. RB26. It doesn't have a knock sensor plug that goes over here. So we're assuming it's from an R32. I don't know if that means it doesn't have knock sensors or what. But super sick. Um, we definitely got to figure some things out. We don't know what all is here, what all is going on. It's got HKS cone filters, like these little honeycombs. This boot, I don't know if you can see it down in here, but it's ripped, that intake. Um, it has this HKS manual boost controller. Oh, that's not where that goes. We'll fix this. I have to do that. Oh, look. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna fix that. It's gonna bug me if I don't. Two seconds. Let's put this power steering reservoir where it goes. Come on. Oh, we're so close. Oh, it's broken. Dang, that sucks. It's kind of on there. Nope, fell right off. Freaking A, that stinks. Okay. So we might need a new power steering reservoir. Luckily, like, okay, so let's do, let's have a little chit chat. Parts for this car, a lot of them aren't terribly expensive. And a lot of them are like similar to other Nissans and things like that. Like Skylines aren't as special as like we as Americans think they are. Um, like their trick, I haven't driven this car but a little bit, sorry, I'm trying to sit down here. Um, I've only driven a little bit and it drives like pretty legit. Um, it's a little bit nerve wracking, like driving a car that was this much money. It's not even like this much money. It, it's worth a bunch of money. Anyways, um, I'm kind of going down a rabbit hole. The parts aren't that expensive. If you can get them from Japan, if you try to source anything like stateside, it's just absurd. But stuff in Japan is completely reasonable. So if you can find somebody like Garrett at JDM Connect to be your part supplier, things are going to go so much better for you. Anyways, let's uh, see if we can swindle Carissa into coming to help us take this hood off. All right. I lied. I didn't go get Carissa. I've been trying to figure out like what year motor this is. Um, I don't know a whole lot about these. So I got a number. I posted it on a RB26 page, well, an RB page. And hopefully we'll see what they have to say. Yeah, I want to go drive this. I'm waiting to go get Levi. You guys want to see the inside? It uh, has a Recaro on the driver's side and then a Bride on the passenger side. 
has like a little carbon fiber shift knob and center stack got some gauges over there I don't know what this thing is um, it doesn't have a girl that talks to you in it the back seat it's pretty simple nothing too crazy it looks like the car had a roll cage at one point in time yeah it's super sick I'm super happy everything works so far that we've tried um, it's got a really big trunk the trunk it's got like this six disc CD changer back here and that's kind of cool um, yeah I haven't peeked back here too much oh that's tore up what's underneath here let's look okay there's like a piece of wood that's interesting hold on I'm gonna put you down <clears throat> oh gosh come out this wood is stuck in here Okay, you gotta go back and then front. And then back, back down. Oh, we have a spare tire. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We do have a spare tire. Okay, take the carpet out. I'm trying to get this piece of wood out. There we go. Alright, wood thing out. That's totally OEM from Nissan right there. Check this thing out. That is OEMAF. So yeah, we look in here. It doesn't look bad. Got a spare tire. There's water in here. That's not cool. That's from us washing it this morning. Yeah. I think the car looks pretty good. Um, one thing. So this is like, oh, you guys can't see. You're looking at my toes. This is the license plate bracket. So we gotta figure out how to get to it. Right here, boom. Now we can fix that. Cause it's just self tappered in there. So I'm gonna take that out right there. Give me a screwdriver. So here's their license plate bracket. I don't even know what's going on here. These little guys right here, these things, they don't spin. So, I don't know. I would like to make this right, figure it out, weld it on. You know, we have these two tabs. Maybe we try to free this up, drill it out, maybe remake it. You know, we could like cut it here and here and then rebuild back. We have like kind of a distance. All right, I have no idea what the last thing I shot was, but this is the end of the video. Um, I know I said that we were going to put the hood on, but we didn't. I decided we're going to save all the extras that I bought for the next video. Um, yeah, I did do some stuff under the hood. I can't show you guys because I don't feel like popping the hood, but uh, there was an intake boot that was ripped. For the air filter it's uh down there in the trash get that thing right there Oop. anyways it was ripped so i did some welding and made a little piece of pipe and the filters don't fit as good like it doesn't look as good as it used to but it fits much better everything's tight we're not going to be sucking in dirt which is cool um yeah i ordered a shit load of parts for this thing today so we got some cool stuff coming for sure. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys these, but these are my Boz Reyes that I bought for it. So this will be the fronts and then the backs will be basically this, but a half inch wider, but one inch more lip. So they're gonna fit a bit better than these. So, but yeah, there it is. Um, next video, we're gonna get some driving footage. Um, I sold my STI to my buddy Ryan, and he's going to go out, Bo's going to go out, my buddy Will's going to go out, 
and we're gonna go out in this and hopefully we'll all go cruise a bunch of cool cars and just uh, have a good time and you guys can see that so until then I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for hanging out thanks for the support and we'll see you guys next time I guess <laughs>